of banning employees from bringing lunch into the detention center. Yeah, in fact, sources gave me this document that says leaders have cut staff from bringing lunches into the jail. Now, in this letter that you'll only see on 16 WAPT, it says, quote, this new policy is a security measure to eliminate the allegations of staff bringing contraband into the facility. This order from the sheriff comes as new video surfaces claiming to be inmates partying inside the detention center. 16 WAPT's Burt Cage showed the video to Sheriff Lewis to see what he had to say. The video we got was obviously produced and edited. It features dozens of men clearly at different times and different places inside what looks like a jail. The photos feature several inmates with cell phones, drugs, and in some cases weapons. The video claims to be from the Hines County Detention Center. We put the video in our computer, call the sheriff, ask him to look at it and comment on what he saw before we did anything else with it. Sheriff Lewis says he doesn't think these images are from the Raymond Detention Center. Based on the background of what you showed me, because uh, I'm very familiar with the doors in our facilities and the makeup of the windows. Uh, those windows and those doors does not match the windows in my facility. In this edited video, we don't see one guard at all. But we did have a former Raymond Jail employee look at the tape. The 11-year veteran said he could identify five prisoners by name. The sheriff admits his jail has had some problems, but he says there's progress. Could this have happened in your jail at one point when you had the riot? Well, I'm not saying that it could not have, uh, and, but that, that makes this old video. And if it is, then uh, we've made some corrections uh, since then and there. We've put a lot of corrections in place. Earlier this year, a deadly riot at the jail left one pod heavily damaged. Sheriff Lewis says since then, work crews have installed 85 of 230 new cameras. Lewis also says the jail is about 90% finished with repairs on malfunctioning cell locks. And he says they have added intercoms and new sally ports. So you don't believe this could happen in a Hines County Jail today? That's not what I said. Uh, I think there, there are more measures in place to prevent it from happening as often. Sheriff Lewis says he's not ready to have us take 16 WAPT cameras into the newly renovated jail yet. It's my job to make sure that we move forward in a positive manner uh, to show the public uh, that we are taking measures to, to secure that facility and, uh, uh, and they can see that as well. There are problems with this jail that go back as far as 1991. I recall coming out here where they were finishing it up, and J.D. McAdory was the sheriff at the time. He told me, Bert, this jail's going to break Hines County. Bert Case, 16, WAPT News, Raymond.